What ho, tiny baby man. Sandwich and I are coming for you! Yes, I hope you enjoy that, and if that doesn't give anything away of what I'm playing as today, then uh, there's something wrong with you, to be honest. So yeah, here we are, we're playing as a heavy. Possibly my favourite class in the whole of Team Fortress is the heavy. I think he is just so fun to play and so fun to listen to. He's just very, very well made. Uh, and also today we are rocking around with one of Heavy's new new weapons-ish. It's more just a new um, model <coughs> for his minigun. But it is the Iron Curtain, which I won about 10 minutes before making this video. Oh, and there we go. I died. Anyway, so yes, I've got finally got the Iron Curtain. And as soon as I got it, I straight onto TF2 and straight making a video. And today we are playing on Gold Rush, we're playing on today. And we have another two round gameplay today. Uh, we have this round because I joined here and we were already part way through a game on the last capture point. And then when this finishes, we continue across to the next round. So, yeah, as I said, we're here on Gold Rush. Now, I really do I love this map. I think it's just a fantastic map. It's, it's like the payload version of Dust Bowl. I think everybody likes it and it's just extremely well made. So, playing as heavies, um, this is one of my highest play classes, I, I often play it with friends, you know, I'll be the heavy, they'll be the medic, and obviously with the best team in the world is the heavy medic team, especially when they're Uber and they just man everything down, it's so much fun being a heavy medic team. So here we go, just give you a quick look of the Iron Curtain and my lovely little halo, he's gone there. <laughs> we do like the heavies, we really do. So yeah, here we go. Going for the attack. We're on the last point we've got to capture. At the moment I'm just trying to get some fire in there to see if I hit anyone. I don't know where anybody is. <laughs> Amazingly, we do have an engineer build up over there. Uh, but I did just get backstabbed. Straight back in through the through the teleport. But yes, one of our engineers does end up building right in their base at some point. Sort of around the corner, just near that little walkway on the top left if we're attacking. So you can just see over there, I think. I think I shot over at him. I think it was a. I thought it was the enemy sentry gun, but it actually was one of ours. Um, so yeah, that was really good. How we managed to get one there, that really helped us get the pushing going and, and kept the people at bay, really. So here we go. Have to get back and get some health. It does get a bit hectic being heavy. You are sort of the main target of most people because you've obviously got the highest amount of health. You tend to do probably the most damage as well because uh, it's just constant damage. It's not like a soldier where it's one hit. As much as soldiers hit hard and things like that, but you are pretty much constant, constant source of damage and therefore one of the higher people people want to take down. You know, you often get headshotted and backstabbed and things like that. But you're also a medic's best friend, which is nice. It's really good to have a medic with you at all times. So here we go. We've just finished that first round and I'm supposed to be attacking here, but I think I've got auto balance as per usual. And I got put into attack again. Sorry, we're supposed to be defending here. Um, I don't know if I just said that, but... I got put in back and attacking. And here we go. All hell breaks loose on that one sentry gun. The amount of fire that's flying up there is insane. And um, we do finally get our Uber here, which we do use just to push through and get everyone else down. And there's no one else around, so I pop up here because I think the sentry up there is bound to be something up here. And lo and behold, the engineer just teleports through as I appear and he gets mown down. Oh, it's just completely owned, he got, to be fair. So I, I wait for the cart to come to me here. I try and just keep an eye on this hole. This is the only way, the whole tunnel, sorry. This is the only way they're going to come through. So if I keep some fire going down there, it will stop them from charging through and taking us down. And there, there we go. The cart has caught up for me. And I'm starting to push through again. Now generally I try and avoid this corner. Because obviously it's always got snipers pointed on it. And you poke around and you get headshots. But at the moment there are none. And I do get some lucky crits there. But at the same time I also get critted on and get killed. So I have to quick respawn and teleport in. Or did I run in? I can't remember. I think there's a... Uh, no, I ran in because there's a lot of cuts through this. Because our engineer took forever to build a teleporter. So no, it's a bit hectic up there as well if you're a heavy. It's okay if you're a sniper because you, you tend not to give yourself way too much until, you, until obviously you start picking people off. But as a heavy, you're the biggest target and the loudest as well. So everyone knows where you are. Uh, me seeing that soldier there kind of egged me down to continue down here. Then this is a genius, but I love this bit of the game. I see there's some stickies up here. Uh, there's a soldier that does try to take us out, but doesn't do too well. 
Uh, there's still some sickies there. Take it down with shotgun. I'm thinking there's still some up there. There's going to be still some. Up. Oh wait! Oh look! And there goes the pyro, and the pyro dies. <laughs> so I run in instead and kill the kill the demon up there. I enjoy using pyros as cannon fodder and people to trigger traps and things like that. That was probably my favourite part of the whole of this whole game. I really enjoy doing that. I don't know why. I think it's because I hate pyros so much. So here we go. There's practically no one around. There's a sentry gun over there. There's a medic down there, I think. But I tend to ignore him, thinking that someone else is going to get him. Until he starts hitting me, or something starts hitting me. I don't know what it is. But then I get some massive fire down on me and get taken out again. So yeah, oh, another another uh, pyro down there. Which is good. I don't care who it is, as long as he's dead. Very annoying class. But as I said earlier, tend to be, as a heavy, you tend to be one of the more targeted classes. Uh, simply because, like I said, you're often followed by a medic, there's often other people with you and things like that. So we drop down to take out this pyro from being a pain in the ass as per usual. And uh, we go around here, and I drop back at a bit, getting some hits. And uh, yeah, we try and oh, another pyro there, another appearing pyro. And sadly, the medic who just got over gets shot in the back by a uh, samurai soldier, and I die as well. So back to this point. Me and another heavy are trying to defend this area, and we've got a pyro being rather annoying down there, just flaming up. So I decide, hmm, I shall sacrifice myself and take this mother clucker down. And I do so as well, while well, also getting some health, which is useful. Once again, we're at the pyro going first. But sadly, I also get pyro in the back at the same time. But we're back again, no problem. Doesn't take long to get back here now that we've finally got our teleporter up. And I've got absolutely no health. Uh, the reason I cut it there is because I end up standing around waiting for a medic who does eventually appear. There's a sort of a 20 second gap where I'm just stood here shouting for the medic to turn up. Who only just turns up, as you see. So here we go, back going to this, back going up to this walkway thing. I think our medic dies again, unfortunately, but we do manage to get to the point up here and we do pick off their, uh, their medic and demo man. I don't quite realise at first I took the demo man out as well. So I continue spraying down there until I suddenly realise, hang on, yeah, he's probably dead actually. <laughs> I think I'd probably be dead if I was down there with a minigun. But once again, I'm medicless and I'm very low health. And the one person who I don't want to see come running up that little corridor is the one that does come in running up that little corridor. And I'm pretty sure you can guess what that's going to be. Yes, it's a bloody pyro. And I get flamed and I die due to fire. Buggering pyros. And there we go! I got a festive winter crate and uh, no one can unlock them there yet so if you I'd like to see some people's ideas of what how they think they're going to come unlocked personally I think it's going to be it's just going to unlock I should think probably on Christmas day or something like that you know I think they're probably all going to unlock I'm surprised that Valve charged you for these ones like they do with the usual boxes which I'm not too fond of I've got bloody loads of them but I ain't paying to, uh, to buy a key I'll happily trade for a key I ain't bloody buying one. <laughs> not pending what one pound ninety nine on a on a key to unlock something which I probably won't get. I mean, I've, I've unlocked one and I got a uh, a huntsman, I think. Great, whoopee! You know, technically I could be paying two pound fifty for a huntsman. It's just useless. I don't want to spend two pound fifty. One pound, one pound ninety nine. Sorry, on a uh, on a huntsman. Two pound fifty. Where'd I get that from? So here we go. We're coming up to the last cap. Um. I'm set up here just getting some fire down on the people. Uh, just trying to keep them, keep them coming up really. Which I'm just trying to hold them at bay. I do get a lot of fire on me unfortunately. And our medic is still alive. Which is good. And he's just got his Uber. So off we go. Let's use this Uber and get him moving backwards. There we go. Uber triggered. And we just get some fire on some people. Engineer there. Trying to build up. Right. Take him out. Stop any engineer building. Pyro comes in. We take him down. as Oh no we don't take him down. I get backstabbed instead. Surprise, some bloody prize. So here we go. Game's just about to end. I get the teleport in. And there we go. Game's finished. So I hope you enjoyed. Once again, it wasn't the best gameplay in the world, but then again, not every game you play is going to be the most phenomenal gameplay in the world. So you know the drill. Do what you please. And I shall see you when I see you. Ta ra!